Obviously, um, they came out knocking down threes. They're calling a tight game. Officials are kind of negating what you do defensively. Yeah. Um, how hard was it kind of keep your frustrations at bay there in the first it, half? It was. It was. I needed to. The kids played through me screaming and hollering and getting upset. And they, they just they played well. I mean, we did. We sat in defense a long time. They'd hold the balls for long periods of time, and we don't like play defense for a minute or two. But, so we were disciplined enough to quit fouling because everybody was accumulating them there pretty quickly. And I thought uh, it, was, it was a frustrating game, but we got through it. But they had, they had a lot to do with it. They were very patient. They guarded our flare screens very well. And it was hard for us to communicate with their players up there. It seemed like we couldn't hear calls and we were late to get the stuff. But it'd be all right. We're playing for championship tomorrow. Sydney, you got your third foul midway through the third quarter. Um, what changes for you when you get whistled? For something? I think a fourth one came a little bit later, but what changes with you with how you play in that situation? Um, my defense and some of my offense. I'm focused on more control. I got that fourth foul by grabbing the girl's arm because it was on me, but that's usually where I try to calm down and offensively not going for those boards that are risky once I have that foul because it was more important for me to be in the game than it is to get maybe that jump ball. Yeah. How relieving was it for you to, to knock down those two shots there at the start of the fourth quarter to kind of give you guys some breathing room? Uh, very relieving. It was kind of like it gave us a cushion, like, hey, even if they hit a three, we can hold the ball. They can foul us more back at the line instead of tying it up or being down one. Uh, I guess the emotion for both all three of you is how's it good to be back in the championship game? You know, the it's, it's unbelievable. These kids work like all these teams work, but these kids, they, they do put in just an excessive amount of time and they're around each other so much to, to see their triumphs and their setbacks. I mean, we've played so many good teams and to get here and be prepared for some adversity is, is why we play the schedule we do and why they stay in the weight room and, and do all their work. I'm very proud of them. Yes, yeah, Sydney, what are the emotions that you both feel? So I'm excited and great to be back. Yeah, I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to be back. I'm so blessed to be here with my teammates, people I love. Um, but finding comfort in that we're here, but not getting comfortable while we're on the court. Yeah, yeah you ended up, I guess, getting a bit hotter in the second half score-wise. Uh, I don't think you made a three-pointer this game. I guess yeah. how to feel you a little bit differently about the line on the three ball. I knew they weren't there off the flare screens where they usually were. I knew that I didn't have my legs the way I wanted to, which sometimes happens, but I knew that I had to score in some way, had to contribute. Even if it was a two-pointer or a floater, I knew I just had to attack. How dis when you went one or two at the free throw line there in, in the final seconds, do you beat yourself up in that moment? Or how do you handle that? And make sure you come back and make up for it on the on the second time around. Uh, I don't beat myself up because I know if I do, then if I'm focused on the miss, then the next one's probably not going to go in. So I focus on hey, let's just pretend nobody's in here while we practice and knock it down. Do you do anything individually when you're working out, maybe alone, or to put pressure on yourself to be able to handle a moment like that to make free throw? Um. Not necessarily, but it's more of focus. And I practice free throws every time we go in the gym, so it's kind of like I practice it, just the same form. It's muscle memory, so. Uh, Coach, uh, did you do anything differently in terms of offensive sets when the three ball wasn't really falling for you guys, or was it still the same? We, we, we played dribble drive, and they played dribble drive, so they, they, were, they, knew, they knew the actions, and, and we really just took these two girls, get the basket, shoot and layups. That's, that's the difference in the game. It's, as we shot more layups than they did in the end. Uh, thank goodness. We were shooting, making layups, and then because we're giving up a bunch of open threes, and we'll work, up, work on that tomorrow. But uh, I'm proud of these girls. And how much confidence, just in a pressure situation, to make a big three, make you, make you one or two free throws? I guess how do you prepare your team? Are you ready for pressure? We practice situations, and you know, you're up five, you're up four, you're down three. I mean, and, and, you know, they, they, this group's played a lot of games together. Uh, Carolina City have played over 100, close to 120 games together. So they, they, they've been, they've been through some hard games and they've prepared for it. I think it's over time. It's nice to have my little team. Am I you're somebody that prides themselves on defense? CPA made seven or eight threes all game. When you, I think y'all were up three and they shot a three and missed there in the final 10 seconds. How relieving was it for you to see one not go in and y'all kind of get the rebound and kind of capture it? It was very relieving. Um, I just had to get in my head and like say what's going on. I mean, was it like a moment where you're like, finally, you know, one didn't yeah. go in? Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was happy about that. Uh, what's the mindset, obviously, 
Go compete, man. Just go compete. Lay it out there. Don't leave anything on the floor. I mean, all the, yeah, I can add three more cl sports cliches if I, if I could, but, man, these these kids, are, I mean, whoever, at this point, it's whoever wants it the most. And it's it's going to be little, very little me, and it's going to be all them. I mean, I haven't taken a shot yet. I've got a rebound. I've got trust out here. But, uh, I'll, I'll ride with my horses all day long. They're, they've, they've been good to us. Brought to you by SmartBank. Play smart. Bank smart. SmartBank. For more information, visit SmartBank.com.